Hi Trumpets, we're going to review what we talked about in our lesson today about oiling our valves. The only time we need to oil our valves is when they get sticky or stuck. So right now my valves are not sticky or stuck, but eventually yours may start to stick and they're going to need to be oiled. So I'm going to pretend like my first valve is sticky. And we're going to go through exactly what you're going to do. So the first time through, I want you just to watch me. And then the second time through, we're going to do it together. So I'm going to unscrew my first valve. And most of yours, I'm seeing if this one says it. It should have a number. And maybe down here. Or up here, mine, it says it right there. You should see number one. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a number one. That tells you that this is going to go into the first valve. This will have number two. This will have number three. If you don't know which valve it is, it also has the numbers there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a one, a two, and a three. So, like, there's, there's the... Three should be right around there, okay, and then two, and then the one. There, there's a, hopefully you can see it now. So I took out the one from number one. And what I would suggest is taking it out one at a time, not taking them all out, because then you can get confused. So if you do take them all out, make sure that you are putting the right one in. Because if you don't, then it's going to have trouble playing. So I take out the first valve. I set my trumpet down in a safe spot. I'm going to take my valve oil. And I'm going to just very lightly, I'm not going to do a lot. I'm not going to squeeze it. It just kind of should come out on its own. Let it drop. I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm just doing the bottom half. I'm not doing the top half. Um, most of yours, it may be a silver color compared to the gold color. So you want to do the silver part, the part with the holes. It kind of looks like Swiss cheese. So you're going to go around all the way around. Then I'm going to very lightly put my valve back in, twist it around, move it up and down very, very gently because we can bend this. If we push it in, we're rocking it in, this will get bent. So you want to be very gentle. Get the oil all around in there. Once I'm done doing that, I'm then going to twist it until it will not twist anymore. You should hear a click. So I'm going to twist. I'm already actually was in the clicking position, so I'm going to move it back. So I'm going to twist, 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 and then it stopped. And you should maybe hear a click. Let me do it even closer. Hear that clicking sound? So I can't turn it anymore, which means that I can screw it in. and then I'm set to go. So now we're going to do it together. So go ahead and pick up your trumpet. Pick the valve that may be sticking. I'll do the second valve this time just to kind of do a different one and show you where the number is. So we're going to unscrew it. And you're going to very lightly and very gently take it out. Set your trumpet in a safe spot, on the, maybe in the case, on the ground, not in your lap because it could topple over. Let me see if I can find the number for you. So there's the number. It's really hard to see. I'm turning it so you guys can see it. It's very, very light, but it's right there. Okay, so there's a the number two. And it may be very, very faint. 
So that's telling me that it's going into number two on the trumpet. And again, I don't know if you can see the number two right there in the, in, on your trumpet. I'm going to take my valve oil and be careful too. Again, we don't want to get this on our clothes. Maybe I would put a little rag so it doesn't even get on the carpet or on your floor. Put a rag down so this way you don't have valve oil all over the place. So go on and go get a rag if you need to press the pause button. Press pause and then come back. So we're going to very, just a light coating going around. We don't need to squirt a lot out. A lot of it, if you turn it upside down, a lot of it's just going to come out on its own, as you are probably noticing. The big thing is that we want to go all the way around. And remember, we're just doing the silver part of the part with the holes. I'll give you guys a little bit of time to finish up. So remember, we're just going all the way around, light coating. Just the bottom part. We don't need to do this part. Like I said, yours should be silver. Or just with the holes. Once you have that done, pick your trumpet back up. Very gently place the valve back in. Then you want to move it very gently around to get that, out, that valve oil around. Then we're going to twist it until it won't twist anymore and you hear it click. So I'm going to take it, twist, and mine already clicked. So I'll do that one more time. And just in case you didn't hear it, once more. Hear that clicking sound. Then I'm going to screw it back on. If for some reason you go to play your instrument and no sound is coming out, there's a couple things that could be wrong. One thing is that you may not have, when you went to screw it back in, if you don't screw it in until it clicks and you just were to put it in and then screw it on, the holes here are not matching up and the air isn't going to go through your instrument. So don't worry, your instrument isn't broken. I would just take the valve out again or just unscrew it. You don't need to take it out, but just unscrew it. Make sure that you have it turned all the way so, it's, so it clicks, and then screw it back up. The other reason is if you put this in the wrong spot. So let's say you put number one in number two. That could cause it not to play. So if, you're, if you took out all your valves, then I would just take them out again and double check to make sure that the numbers are matching up. And that's if you try to blow into it and there's no sound. If, it, if you play into it and you're able to make a sound, then you're good to go. So again, watch this video as much as you need to help you with your valves as far as oiling them. And if you have any questions, just let me know. You did a great job today and you, are, you guys have just been doing awesome. So keep up the great work.